Area 0991, radar contact, mile southeast of the Falcon Airport. Climb maintain 5,000. Up to 5,000, 809991, we're direct second. Yeah, I totally didn't realize I was holding up several planes at the, <laughs> at the foot of the runway. He said, who's holding short of the runway? I had to look, look over my shoulder and there's like three flight school airplanes stacked up. Oops. My bad, guys. <laughs> I should have got out of the way. I was doing my, my thorough abort briefing. Good morning, Phoenix, Arizona. It's going to be a good day. Make it a good one. Ray 09991, are you uh, Mr. Aviation on YouTube? That's what they call me, I suppose. All right. So this is uh, 1392, 272, descended 240. That's 1392, LA Center, descend via the Ola 2 arrival, accept to maintain 1-2000, Palomar, 73014. 3014, 1-2000, uh, descend via the Ola 2, Delta, uh, 1392. Once again, heading westbound, but this time I'm solo, and this time I'm in November 80991. I stopped in Phoenix for a couple days to meet with Corey to discuss an international trip we've been planning for later in 2020, and now that we're done with our meeting, I'm continuing west to Southern California. Since I'm already in Phoenix, it's not much further to get to SoCal, and I want to visit some people and fly into some places I haven't been to in a long time. In this video, we'll cover my flight departing IFR out of Falcon Field in Mesa, Arizona, heading over to Torrance, California with an unexpected stop along the way due to changing conditions. And in the next video, Alicia will show me the ropes of flying into the airport in the sky. We're here at Falcon Field, Mesa, Arizona. In your hangar, yeah. there's an airplane right back here. Uh, it's got the cowling off and stuff, so it's not pretty to look at at the moment. Well, maybe it is. Uh, but that airplane pertains to a trip that we're going to take that I'm not going to talk about. Because if I do, it's not going to happen. <laughs> and we've been hashing out a plan for a pretty grand trip that Corey here came up with. Uh, in his Piper Malibu. What year is your Malibu? It's an 86. 86. Yeah. 1986 PA46. So I've owned this Malibu for about four years, a little over four years, and uh, since I purchased it, I've put paint, a new panel, and most recently a new engine in it, and it's always been a bucket list item of mine to travel across the North Atlantic. To do this. To do this. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to this trip. I think it's going to be uh, incredible scenery and uh, quite a quite an adventure and uh, hopefully a great story that we're able to tell a good blend of uh, technical aspects scenery culture um, got a plane departing in the background we're at an airport yeah. so <laughs> i'm gonna fire up here at falcon pick up my clearance and uh, i'm gonna fly out to torrance california which is just south of lax and it's going to be a very very busy flight getting in there i'm expecting lots and lots of traffic and just I'm not going to talk to the cameras at all. I'm not going to pull out the, the handheld to get any B-roll or anything. I can't. I'm going to have to be in full-blown pilot mode. We're going to pull the plane out and kick the fires and light the tires. Is that how it goes? And we're going to get <laughs> out of here. Something like that. Something like that, right? <laughs> all right. Let's get out of here. All right. All right. Who's the aircraft pulling short of runway four right? That's 80991. We're ready for departure. Okay. Didn't, did you ever make a call? No, we were just about to. Okay, copy that. Uh, Cessna 809-901, Falcon Tower, hold short runway four right, awaiting IFR release. We'll hold short. I can pull up and get out of these guys' way if they need to depart. Well, just stand by one second. Okay. Just a 991. Yeah, if you could pull up just a little bit uh, for the aircraft, the second one or the first one behind you can get behind you. Right. Sounds good. 80911, make the right turn back to the runway. Just a 80991, maintain 4000, runway 4 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 4 right, clear for takeoff, maintain 4000, 80991. Yeah, sometimes we don't know how long it'll take to get the release. Oh, gotcha, no problem. Thanks for the help. No worries. Falcon Tower, Oxford 856, holding short runway 4 right, ready for departure. Oxford 856, Falcon Tower, uh, uh, roger. Alright. We're on 4 right. Take off power set. Engines in the green, airspeed's live. Oxford 856, Red Mountain Departure approved, runway 4 right, clear for takeoff. 4 right, clear for takeoff, Oxford 856. And Falcon Tower, next in line is Oxford 844, holding short runway 4 right, ready for departure. 4 right, clear for takeoff, another 100 feet. 
We're starting the right turn. Cessna 9091, contact Phoenix departure. Have a good flight. Departure, thanks for the help, 9091. Phoenix departure, Skyhawk 809991, just off Falcon 2100, climbing up to 4. 809091, radar contact, mile southeast of the Falcon Airport, climb maintain 5000. Up to 5000, 809091, we're direct second. Yeah, I totally didn't realize I was holding up several planes at the, <laughs> at the foot of the runway. He said, who's holding short of the runway? I had to look, look over my shoulder and there's like three flight school airplanes stacked up. Oops. My bad, guys. <laughs> I should have got out of the way. I was doing my, my thorough abort briefing. Good morning, Phoenix, Arizona. It's going to be a good day. Make it a good one. Engine looks happy. We're waiting for further instructions. Currently flying a heading... Uh, 809901, fly heading 260, contact departure 128.65. 128.65, heading 2608091. Agent 523, fly head. Departure Skyhawk 8099117000260 7000, 260 assigned. Number 80991, Phoenix Approach, Phoenix Altimeter 3008, fly heading 260. 3008, fly heading 2608091. Number 80991, climb and maintain 9000. Up to 9000, 80991. 809991, the headwind is just a bit worse up here, so for fuel planning along our route, we'd like to uh, change our destination if we could, and we have a request for a fix in between. Right, 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 go ahead. I want to, re want to uh, request from present position direct to Shady, that's Sierra Hotel Alpha Delta India, and then Lima 08 as the final destination. Right, 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 one. Roger, you're clear direct to Shady, direct Lima 08, and uh, thank you for that. All right, appreciate that, thanks. Clear direct Shady. American 2099, contact Phoenix Approach 1. That's how easy it is. I just requested a reroute. 65, American 2099, good day. Okay, so now, that's an hour and 55 out, and we've got three and a half hours of gas. So now, all of a sudden, we just diverted, and instead of going all the way to Torrance, the comparing the ETE on the GPS and four flight, comparing it to the time to empty on the engine monitor, it was saying we were going to have like 20 minutes of fuel reserve when we get to Torrance. No way. And that's not even including any vectors or reroutes that we're going to get coming into the LA Bravo. All right, we're coming up on Blythe, California. Blythe, California, right up here off to about one o'clock. And this river that we're about to cross is the Colorado River, originating in Colorado, coming down through Utah, Arizona. This is the very river that cuts the Grand Canyon, that fills up Lake Mead, that flows through Hoover Dam right outside of Las Vegas, and now coming down as the dividing line between California and Arizona, and we are about to cross it westbound. All right. We have crossed the Colorado River. Welcome to California. Brega Valley traffic, Skyhawk 8 0 9 2000 descending about a three-mile final runway 26, full stop, Brega Valley. Over the fence, 60 knots. Your tank is turning about a three-mile final runway 26, Brega Valley. We're crossing the numbers. Runway made, powered idle. Put her into a full stall landing here. Nice. Good positive ground contact, and that way we can start getting on the brakes and clear Alpha 4 so that fast mover behind us can come on in. Brega Valley traffic, Skyhawk 80991, clearing runway 26. The runway's yours. I appreciate that. Five zero tango is on about a two mile final runway two six Brago Valley. All right, Brago Valley Airport in California. It's pretty cool mountains back there. Um, we'll probably take off runway eight and go out uh, the opposite way we came in, and then just kind of use this valley to circle and climb. And once we get high enough to cross the mountains, we'll contact SoCal Approach, tell them we want to go over to Torrance, and they'll help us out with that. This next leg going over to Torrance Zamperini Field just south of LAX. We're gonna have to get around uh, Orange County, John Wayne Airport. And then there's a, an Army airfield real close to there. Basically, I'm gonna go ahead and put the life vest on and cinch it down around my waist. I'm gonna wear it for this flight, just in case the best way for me to get over to Torrance is for them to vector me out over the water and just stay underneath you know, the Charlies and the Bravos and away from the uh, deltas of the Army airfield and stuff. And uh, that might be the best way for me to get to Torrance. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear the life vest that's just in case, you know, something were to happen and we go down, grab this right here, 
yank it and the life vest inflates. So let's get in the plane. Borrego Valley traffic, Skyhawk 80991 is taxiing onto runway 8. We're going to circle in the valley, climb up, and we'll be a departure out to the west via far Borrego Valley. All right, we got the terrain out there. That'll be no factor. Runway 8, takeoff power set, 2300 RPM, engines in the green, air speeds alive. There's 40 knots. Engine looks happy. There's 60, rotate. And just keep the climb coming, VY. Climb checklist, speed 70 to 78, we got a power set full, mixture set full, ridge instruments. Cross-check to calibrate it, everything agrees, taxi light, we're going to leave it on, and the flight plan, we're going to talk to SoCal here in just a little while. Climb checklist complete. LA Center, Skyhawk 80991 off Borrego Valley, VFR request. November 80991, LA Center, Squawk 1031. 1031 on the Squawk 991. And November 80991, radar contact at 10 miles northeast of Julian, 6500. Say aircraft type and destination again, please. We're a Cessna 172 Skyhawk, we're VFR over to Tango Oscar Alpha, Torrance. Thank you very much, and are you aware, uh, we're showing some traffic just behind you, about 2 miles, 6,500, also unverified, type unknown. Yeah, trying to get him inside, I saw him earlier, I believe it's an RV, an experimental RV, we're looking. Hi, uh, Roger, and uh, the other traffic at 7,500 is no factor, and you can resume your own navigation and own uh, altitude. Okay, on navigation to Torrance, 80991. And November 9901, that traffic is just behind you about a mile. Um, traffic alert, he's at just one mile. Uh, it looks like your course will diverge, so I would just keep that heading that you're doing right now. We got him inside, it is an experimental RV. Alright, thanks a lot. Ray 09901, are you uh, Mr. Aviation on YouTube? That's what they call me, I suppose. Alright. Alright, that traffic's no factor. Coming right over the mountains here. Nice. So we're going to see what they're going to do in terms of vectors uh, for us. That's why we're wearing the life vest. And it looks like this is a mountain range that we're going to be following for just a little bit, a little while. So we can go left or we can go right. We can take door one or door two or door A or door B. What should we do? I think I'm going to take door B. I want to go this way because this way puts us, we're just, uh, that just puts us closer to San Diego. We're going northbound anyways. That'll kind of put us on a better route toward, uh, kind of toward Torrance. Delta's uh, 1392, 27-2, descend in 240. Delta 1392, LA Center, descend via the Ola to arrival, accept and maintain 1-2000, Palomar, Timothy 3014. 3014, uh, 1-2000, descend via the Ola to Delta's uh, 1392. Using four flight to help me make sure I'm clear of terrain and dodging what terrain I've got in front of me. We're going to go to the right of this ridge line right here. And that'll kind of keep us clear, and then we'll be able to cut more toward Torrance. So we're kind of going to the right of the ridge line, and we're just going to stay in the valley there. And we are level at 6.5, and we're getting off course a little bit, but that's on purpose. November 8.09901, contact SoCal Approach on 127.3. Have a good day. 27.3, thanks a bunch for the help, y'all too. See ya. SoCal Approach, Skyhawk 8.09901, 6,500. Skyhawk 809901, SoCal Approach, near mile altimeter is 3014. 3014, thanks. Raman 28683, contact approach 124.1, good day. Say 3124.1. SoCal, Chef, please 231, need the uh, speeds on the arrival? Uh, you know what? Normal speed, let's see if anybody notices. Hey, I like it. Normal speed, thanks, Jeff, please 231. Uh, normal speed, let's see if anybody notices. No, I won't. Oh, uh, SoCal controllers are always so good. They just make you laugh. Takes the edge off, like, it's great. Our 535 Victor Whiskey, traffic's at 2 o'clock in a mile, westbound 6500 Cessna DCM. Traffic inside, 535 Victor Whiskey. 80991, are you here? Yep, I see him. Alright, thank you, he's off your left side. It's 535 Victor Whiskey, we're just gonna climb up a little bit until we cross the traffic, go back down to 65. Okay, that's fine. I dipped down, he went up. Nice. <laughs> I love that the controller didn't even like tell us to do anything, like recommend you turn blah blah blah. As we just saw each other, so he was like, yeah, whatever. Make it work. So then they started climbing, I started descending. I am laying eyes on the Pacific Ocean, right out there. 
Real close. Nice. Dustin 991 cross midfield, John Wayne at 4,500, verify Bravo. We have Bravo will cross midfield, John Wayne 4,500, all right, so we're basically just going to stay on this course, on this course line. And our instructions are to cross John Wayne midfield at 4,500. So I'm going to just start a, a, a slow descent. I hope that's going to put me under the clouds. So Cal Skyhawk 80991 looks like the scattered cloud layer is going to be right at 4.5, so we may not be able to do that over John Wayne. 991, would you rather have 5,500? Yeah, we could do that. 991, Roger, 5,500, thanks. Okay, we'll do it. Deke, communicate. That's all you gotta do. Communicate. Don't panic just because there's a cloud layer at you. Talk to them. Tell them. Hey, there's a cloud layer at 4.5. And he said, can you do 5.5? Five, five? Yeah, we'll do it. Back up. That means on the other side of John Wayne, we're gonna have to <laughs> chop and drop. Sorry, cylinders. Number 991, kind of about 127.2. 272, 991, get it. SoCal, Skyhawk 8-0, 5,500, Charlie at Torrance. 8 0 9 9 one SoCal, Roger, thanks. Got the Pacific Ocean in sight down there, about to come right over the top of John Wayne Airport, Orange County. 8-0-9-9-1, uh, uh, maintain uh, 5,500 for traffic, I'll lower about uh, 5 more miles. Okay, we'll maintain 5,500, 9-9-1. I mean, that's, that was my instruction anyways, with the last controller at least. So, no change there. All right, we're about to be clear of this scattered layer, which is going to be perfect. I see the beach down there. I see long... Nine, nine, one, four, seven, five, right down to 4.5, 9, nine, nine, one. All right, 4.5 set in the altitude bug. Then checklist mixture enriching. Let's give it a swig in. Fuel selectors on both in the detent. We don't need carp heat. We have information, Charlie. The ATIS is received. 3014, 3014, cross-check. They agree. And instruments cross-checked and calibrate. Descent checklist complete. Torrance Tower frequency is 133.07. Use caution for bird activity on or in the vicinity of the airport. It's your number one descent approved. All right, we'll let you know when we start the VFR descent. I don't know. Over there. Now we'll go ahead and start down now, 80991. I believe we have the airport in sight. Okay, perfect, thanks. All right, 80991, approach 12, uh, sorry, tower on uh, 3307. We'll see ya. 3307, thanks for all the help, 991. Great. Going six three Yankee on eighteen and a right, clear for the option. Two nine and right, clear for the option, six four Yankee. Torrance Tower, Skyhawk, eight zero nine nine one, two thousand eight hundred Charlie, full stop. That's not eight zero nine nine one, Torrance Tower make straight in on eighteen and a right. Straight in two nine right, eight zero nine one. That's on nine nine uniform number two, following sling approaching base on eight two nine right, clear to land. Additional traffic you will see one stop for the bridge, one thousand four hundred indicator Cessna for the left. Was that for 9901 nine, by chance? That's on 9901, nine, nine, affirmative, number 2, 1829 right, clear to land. Letting you know traffic over the bridge, 1400 indicator, Cessna for the left. Okay, we're looking for that traffic, number 2, clear to land, 29 or right, 80991. We have that traffic over the bridge now. Roger. That's the traffic over the bridge. holding short of 29 right, right now. He's in for the left, I'm in for the right, so make sure we do not overshoot. We are clear to land, number 2. Lights on. Pre-landing checklist. Brakes pedal test. Landing light on. The autopilot is off. Seatbelt shuttle harnesses are on and fastened. The car heat is on. Let's go ahead and get that on. Got the traffic on final for left. Fuel selector is on both in the detent and flaps is required. We're going to wait for the wide arc. And the pre-landing checklist is complete. We're waiting on 85 knots. There's 85 knots. 1-1000. 1000. Requesting 1000. 2 9 or right with information, Charlie. Test on stand 5 3 Bomb Whiskey, Toronto Tower, make straight in on 8 2 9 or right. Straight in to 2 9 or right, 3 Bomb Whiskey. Flying 6 Yankee number 2, following Cessna, 1 mile final on 8 2 9 or right, clear touch and go. Got aircraft on upwind, got aircraft over the fence for 2 9 left. 2 9 or right appears to be vacant. Ops 20. Tower, tower helicopter 703 Juliet Juliet at JJ parking with information Charlie requesting a northeast Lapse departure. 30. Coming down through 70 knots. Cessna 6 uniform, turn left on Delta, contact ground. Left on Delta, contact ground 6 uniform. 
Calcutta 703 Julie Julie Tron Sour Taxiway Alpha clear for takeoff northeast departure proof. Taxiway Alpha cleared for takeoff uh, 3 Juliet Juliet thank you. November 9091 turn left on Charlie contact ground. Left Charlie contact ground on another one. Oh look a Prius. We're in California. That was mean I'm sorry. Charlie, Alpha, Echo, Torrance left hand turn, clear right. Zero six zero uniform, clear of two nine or left at Delta, taxi to PSA. Delta two zero six zero uniform, Torrance ground, pass behind the south, stop your right on Alpha, and then taxi to PSA via Alpha Echo. This was a busy flight, no doubt, but actually not as difficult and complicated as I'd expected, and SoCal Approach was nothing but helpful. When flying on a long cross-country, you need to be flexible with your plans, and communication is all it takes to handle a situation. I saw that my fuel was going to be too scarce if I continued all the way to Torrance, so I asked for a new destination due to the headwinds, and ATC was happy to oblige. Same thing when SoCal wanted me to cross over the top of John Wayne Airport at 4,500 feet. When I noticed the cloud layer was right at 4.5, I let him know, and he asked me to do 5.5 instead, and just like like that the situation was handled. Don't ever be afraid to speak up to ATC and let them know what's up. I learned that lesson when I was a solo student on my long cross country. I had trouble finding one of the airports and I just straight up told ATC that I'm a solo student and I need a little navigational help. And the controller happily helped me find the airport. Good solid communication is the key to everything and I think that's a good lesson to conclude with here. I'm ecstatic to be back in SoCal to see some places and people that make the long trip worth it. In the next video, Alicia and I suit up with a life vest and cross the water to the airport in the sky. Stay tuned. If you like the video do hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. I'll be posting the full length flight videos from Falcon to Borrego and from Borrego to Torrance on Cockpit Club so keep an eye out for those exclusive member only videos coming soon. Until next time I want you to stay happy, healthy, and current and you know the drill. Most importantly stay proficient. We'll see you in the next one. Fly safe.